out of London Airport at peak hours, one plane moves every minute. Safety practically guaranteed by procedure verging on the miraculous, taken for granted by more than five million passengers a year. And all the time, traffic density increases. Radar is coming to the rescue. Bishop's Court Station, Northern Ireland, scans the air up to 180 miles away and, to include jet aircraft, as high as 40,000 feet. The radar men can see if any planes between here and London Airport are on a course heading for a collision. As the high altitudes are used more and more, radar becomes the key to air safety. In recent years, jetliners have increased the traffic in the upper atmosphere. As they fly in passenger lanes at prescribed altitudes, they should be safer at 40,000 feet than lower down where the air is crowded. A call to radar control will confirm their position. Jetliners have to begin their descent 100 miles away from London Airport. Note that both RAF men and civilians operate at Bishop's Court. The radar height finder can fix the altitude of any aircraft in the upper atmosphere. And as service aircraft must be free to fly in any direction at any height, radar very much helps to prevent collisions. And the marvel of radar is that it knows exactly where any possible danger may be. The plane is warned in good time. So are the service aircraft. Marconi's experimental station at Chelmsford may soon be helping aircraft in the lower atmosphere below 20,000 feet. The radar screen with the Southeast England outline shows that the air lanes are getting like the roads with an extra dimension to complicate the danger. Chance will be eliminated almost completely. Now, filmed at 240 times its actual speed, is the radar picture of Southeast England again. As the airliners come and go, few of their passengers give a thought to the organizing of safety that goes on 24 hours a day. They're enjoying themselves, as they must go on doing, or there'd be no future in air travel.